Hey everyone, this is Gordon from The Principal Leader and welcome to Super Strengths. So we might be asking ourselves, why, why delve into strengths-based leadership? Why focus on your talents, your strengths? The question can kind of seem obvious, but at the same time, maybe not so much. And even more so, why Clifton Strengths? Well, I really want to talk about that and really get into that and really unpack why I think Clifton Strengths is a game-changing opportunity for us who are leading others, those of us who are building relationships with one another. Uh, Clifton Strengths is really the opportunity to really, really transform our world and our experiences. So let's talk about the Clifton Strengths movement. Did you know that over 27 million people know and are using their strengths in their work and in their lives every single day? 27 million people have taken the strengths assessment to really determine what are their innate talents and their innate skills and abilities. And that can be really game changing for folks. I mean, I remember my own experience when I first took my Gallup strengths assessment and really, really starting to understand like why I did certain things, asking myself key questions like, okay, well, that's why I do that. Well, why do I do that? Why do I struggle with this? But why do I really excel at that? And so the Clifton strengths assessment, helps you to start to unlock that. And 27 million people, more than 27 million people, are already using that assessment in their lives. So the reality is, when we accept that we, as individuals, that we are unique, and we are powerful, and that we have confidence within us, when we understand and accept those realities, those truths, those undeniable truths, we will then understand that our strengths are the way that we tap in and move towards excellence. Tap into our potential and move towards excellence. That's really what this Clifton, Clifton Strengths movement is all about. It's focused in and rooted in positive psychology. Not thinking about what's wrong with us, but rather focusing our time, attention, and efforts on what is right with us. Far, far too often we operate in these deficit mindsets we think about all the pits and all the problems, but if we can focus on our strengths, if we can focus on what we do well, that's where we can change things. That's where we can move forward. So the path to your, be the path to your best self, what does that look like? Well, step one is taking the Clifton Strengths Assessment. And if you want more information about that, I'll provide information in in the description, in the video description, there'll be some links, there'll be more information where you can learn about Clifton Strengths, where you can learn and, and potentially even partner with me to learn about yourself and to take this assessment and start to unlock your true potential. But taking that assessment is definitely step one. Step two is that you will get unique and personal results that are unique to you and who you are and no one else. And once you get those unique and personal results, you can begin to think about who you are, where you are, and more importantly, where you want to go. So getting those unique and personal results are step two in this path to your best self. And then step three, begin investing in your strengths and applying them in your life. Just knowing is one thing. But when you actually move towards application, when you move towards action, understanding what they are and then putting them into motion. And what that takes is investment. Investing in learning, growing, questioning, exploring, exploring what those talents are. And then beginning to find ways to strategically map out and think about ways that you can apply them in your life. That's step three. So remember, Step one, take the assessment. Step two, get those unique and personal results. And then step three is invest in your strengths and apply them in your life. So let's talk a little bit more about the investment of some time in yourself. So the Clifton Strengths Assessment is, it's an electronic assessment. You've gotta sit down and really, really give it the time and the attention that it needs so that way you get the results that are gonna help move you forward. And so you're gonna take some time to invest in yourself. You need about 30 minutes. And in that 30 minutes, you're going to be presented with 177 paired statements. And those paired statements 
are going to ask you to choose which one of those statements more represents you. And it's timed. So you get about 20 seconds in between each paired, uh, each paired item showing up for you. And so you, what Gallup is trying to calibrate is what is your natural thinking? What is your natural leaning? And so that's why you have a limited time to respond. And so once you go through those 177 paired statements, then it's going to provide you with your results. And the results are these 34 themes in a unique order that tell your story. So how does it tell your story? Well, it's who you are and it's who you've always been and your assessment unlocks the key to opening that book to your story. What's even more interesting and unique is that you can think of your Gallup assessment, you can think of your Clifton Strengths assessment as, as your unique thumbprint. Because in that assessment, you will receive what are called your signature themes, your top five. And in that top five, there's gonna be a very specific order. Well, what we know is that your top five in that particular order is unique to you. As a matter of fact, it only happens one out of, out of 33.6 million times will you have the same unique thumbprint as anybody else. So think about the power of that. You are inherently unique. You are inherently special. And also as a part of this, you will receive reports. So now you've got your 34, 34 themes that tell your story. You've got your unique thumbprint of your five signature themes. And then you're also going to have these powerful insights and reports that bring those themes to life and start to help you begin to see that future for yourself. So you can think of it as going from themes, you get the 34, and then from the 34, you start to discover what your talents are, and then those talents become strengths. But what Clifton Strengths really does is it works to identify those areas where your greatest potential for building strengths exist. So we're often, you know, we take our most powerful talents for granted, and many of us are never fully aware of the ones that we have or the ones that we could use. So what I feel and what I believe deeply is that the Clifton Strengths is the code that cracks open your awareness for and of your unique talents. Now, let's talk about again from themes to talents to strengths. You start off by understanding that you have themes, these 34 themes in a very specific order. Those themes then show what your natural talents are. So how do they turn into strengths? By what we just talked about a moment ago, by turning your talents into strengths, and that is through the application and the investment of time, energy, and effort. Think of it like working out your body, going to the gym, working out, and you wanna get six pack abs. Well, you don't get six pack abs overnight. You have to invest the time, the effort, and the energy into it. Clifton Strengths is the platform. You have the skills and the talents, and this is a way to merge the two. So the question is, I mean, why go all in on Clifton Strengths? I don't need to know my talents. I don't care about my talents. They're not going to help me. There's no, there's no reason for me to make this time of, the, of investment. There's no reason for me to go down this road. Well, why? Because in all fairness, it's through our talents and our strengths that we tap into our greatest potential for success. Success in our business life, success in our personal life, success in our social life, success in all the different aspects of who we are can be tapped into through understanding who you are. You've never wondered why you make certain choices or why you do what you do, why you like certain things, why you have certain affinities towards this versus that. Why are you better at some things than others? <laughs> There's a reason. There's science behind this. It's your talents. Don't you want to know what your talents are? 
I'm glad that I know what mine are. I'm so glad that I've gone down this journey and I hope that you will too. So as we're thinking about as we move forward, as we're thinking about the next steps, invest in yourself, invest in your time, invest in your talents. And if you liked the video, if you got something out of the time that we had to together today, like, share, subscribe, it's going to be a lot more information, a lot more things to share with you. I'm really, really looking for the opportunity to serve you, partner with you, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.